Hi right, guys, here I'm at, back again. Get out! This is a girl's bathroom. No uh. boys allowed in here. She's gone mental. Jinx the floor objects before they hit you. I'm gonna die. I knew I was going to die, like literally. I just said it, I like I was going to die. Of course I'm going to continue. What do you expect me to do? Play a file in? as funny as throwing a book at me let's all throw books at myrtle because she can't feel it what a lovely game i don't think here why don't you have it a book and ron is still like that the other one <laughs> like he's still that one i like particularly funny Potion has been wrong, but the rest went wrong. <laughs> Harry, I'm very displeased that you missed my new defense against the dark arts class. To be a successful wizard, you have to study with the best. Come along to my office for a private lesson, Professor Gilderoy Lockhart. I think that's the one I needed. Looks like you're still Lockhart's number one student. <laughs> Remember that Lockhart's office is in the lower castle. I thought it was bad enough with everyone thinking I was the heir of Slytherin. A private lesson with Lockhart is mu- I'm going to see if I can find Hermione. I wonder what went wrong with her potion and where she went. I won't spoil guys because uh, that will be me for me. But yeah, sooner or later we can get everything now. Everyone's saying that Potter's the heir of Slytherin. Potter's a parcel now. Everyone knows that's the mark of a dark wizard. Professor Lockhart's just left. Said he was going to his office. Yeah, I have to go to his office. Come to me. I believe I know where to go. I just can be wrong. 
Because there are two ways to go. It's to the left and to the right. I'm going to the right. <clears throat> so the right way. I'm good. Guess what, Harry? Her man is in the hospital wing. The polyjuice potion turned her into a cat. Seems like the hair from Millicent wasn't from her at all. I hope Madame Pomfrey doesn't ask too many questions. Anyway, I suppose I should be going to the private lesson with Lockhart. Yeah, and after that, I'm going to do some hunting. So we're going to locations we have been before and which one maybe not. Because some location we can't get to because we didn't have the powers for it and now we're probably getting it. Terrible news about young Mr. Creevy being petrified, not to mention poor Mrs. Norris. No need to worry though, as your defense against the dark art teacher, I'll save the day. Watch my expensive wand as it moves and press the symbols it points to. Do this three times and you will learn Verdimilius Duo. Are you ready? Very stylish! <laughs> Just like me. Dear, dear. I think I have to do this over because I messed up really bad. That's the easy one. Ready now? Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Splendid. Because if there's an A rank for this, I will go for it. One more to go. Get ready. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Perfection. Splendid. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Told you I have to go re ranking later. I told you. You've earned the possible grade. Well done. If you come back later, you can try for a better grade and earn a special prize. We will. Time to put the spell you've learned to practical use. Now, Harry, hold down the X button to cast a fully charged Verdimilius duo spell. Once cast, the spell will show you objects hidden by dark magic. Use what you find to leave the room. At least I have my better control back. I can took the cheesy route, but uh, I want everything. We want that hundred percentage. Excellent, Harry! I knew you would do it. I'll have to watch 
catch myself in a few years' time, or you'll be stealing my job. Now, run along. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and I have something very special. Crap, I have to come back later. This is shit! Back in the lead. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. The race for the House Cup is heating up. Happy Valentine's Day, Harry! How many cards have you received? So far, I've only received um, 46, hmm, but the day is still young. I've arranged a little surprise for you and the rest of the students at Hogwarts. My friendly card-carrying Cupid! Oh, you, Harry Potter, stay there. I've got a musical message to deliver to you. Valentine's cards. Ugh, keep away from me. I have to run away in backwards way, I don't like that way. I knew there was a second round. Why did I not jump? I definitely jumped! Crap, I missed that one. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickle toe. He's a dog as a black boat. I wish he was mine, he's really divine. The hero who conquered the dark lord. I don't know if I get fresh health. Yes, I get fresh health. Oh, that's actually way more helpful.
fell down again. It happened to me earlier, and now I had fresh health, and now I just... Okay, this game is getting crazier. I'm gonna try something, I hope it works. I'm gonna do it on purpose here, so stopping right... Oh, right or not? Okay, right here. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> it starts from fresh, that's certain. So I don't get the checkpoint I had before. But at least my remaining parts I lost, they are... They are not resetted. They are like saved. That's really good because I like that way then. Because then I can make more often mistakes and get out. And get everything. down for some reason there There it sounded like I made a jump and uh, somehow I just dropped. I'm gonna continue this uh, run, like this recording, until we finish this part. Too close. Yeah, now it goes. So now I'm going to try to do the same what I did before. When I get to the third section, I just suddenly stop and let them catch me. Or maybe I will just continue.
finally done it! Yes! Then he pulled out a bottle of scarlet ink, dipped his quill into it, and dropped a blot onto the first page. Excited, Harry loaded up his quill and wrote, My name is Harry Potter. Then, at last, something happened. Oozing back out of the page came words Harry had never written. Harry nearly upset his ink bottle. And then more words appeared on the page. I know all about the Chamber of Secrets. Fifty years ago, the chamber was opened and a girl was killed. I caught the person who opened the chamber all those years ago. Harry paused for a second and then wrote two letters. O. K. The pages of the diary began to blow as though caught in a high wind. And then the diary seemed to open up and Harry was pitched headfirst into the opening. Harry saw that he was standing in a corridor in Hogwarts dungeons. Peering through a crack made by an open door was a boy of about 16. Harry knew at once that this was Tom Riddle, the owner of the diary. Then Harry heard someone speaking in a low whisper. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Come on, now, in the box. The voice definitely belonged to Hagrid, who, Harry now saw, was crouching down in front of a large box. Riddle suddenly stepped out from the doorway. Evening, Rebaeus. It's all over. I'm going to have to turn you in. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. The young Hagrid rose up to his full height and roared at the top of his voice. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. And then, from out of the box, came something that made Harry let out a long, piercing scream, unheard by anyone. A vast, low-slung, hairy body and a tangle of black legs, a gleam of many eyes and a pair of razor-sharp pincers. The thing scuttled away, tearing up the corridor and out of sight. No! The scene whirled. The darkness became complete, and Harry landed with a crash. Later, Harry met up with Ron and Hermione. What's up? Harry could barely get the words out of his mouth. It was Hagrid, Ron. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. I don't believe that. Until next time, everybody. Peace.